Number 1. Junk. Great bar hidden away, reasonable prices and incredible welcoming bar staff and regulars. Not to mention the virtual darts. This was our third time in Japan and we stumbled across this place, ended up going two nights in a row it was that good. Number 2. Noodle Dish Hirakawa. Neighborhood friendly restaurant. Location is just across the street from Ikeda Henkyu train station. We came here for lunch and see that it's filled with local people, always a good sign. Prices are very reasonable compared to Osaka, and food quality is excellent. Number 3. Ashiyaki Rei. Rei is a family restaurant, one of those little gems where normally people do not go unless they know it. In my experience in Japan, I was taken here by my friends who live in the area and I have always had a great time and great food. Very typical Japanese dishes served by great owners is a family-like atmosphere. Number 4. Ipudo Ipudo Store. My second Ipudo in Japan, one in Osaka and the second at Ikeda. Both experiences were great. Had the traditional and modern ramen with boiled egg and small order of gyoza. The balance of flavors in the broth was amazing, a true umami flavor. You can customize your own broth and ramen thickness and tenderness. Number 5. Chat Thai Garden House. The taste is okay and the location is close to the station. I chose a Thai fried noodle set for lunch and added a coconut drink, and it was 1380 yen. Number 6. Menya Jenny. After several minutes of standing on the street confused, behind a plastic curtain and through a door on the right which opened up to literally a ramen bar. Within minutes there was a bowl of steaming hot ramen in front of me. I immediately noticed the noodles were thinner and cooked perfectly al dente. The meat itself was one strip of extremely flavorful pork, the sweetness and char from the barbecue process still apparent to my palate. Number 7. Takarazuka Iroha. An Okonomiyaki Teppan restaurant behind Takarazuka Station. The most guests in this tiny old-style restaurant were women, possibly, fans of Takarazuka show. The butadama, pork egg, Okonomiyaki was good. Strikingly the egg was soft-boiled. Number 8. Gusto. A typical American diner family type restaurant but with a slight Japanese twist. Lots of young families and teen hangout. Menu has nicely presented photos of their dishes. Typical American diner dishes along with Japanese dishes. Reasonably priced. Number 9. Grilled Meat Kishimoto. Sushi restaurants in Vancouver are too often a polarized choice between loud, cheap all-you-can smorgasbords and upscale temples hushed in reverence. Kishimoto Japanese Kitchen plus Sushi Bar offers all that, and more. No wonder the Commercial Drive restaurant attracts pre-opening lineups almost every night. Number 10. Relaxing House. Fantastic. Really worth a try. The beef and sauce are great. And the whole meal looks very healthy. Hope you like this video. For more videos please subscribe to our channel.